I live forever, I don't ever die Murder, murder, murder on my mind Line after line after line Time after time, I'ma thrive Push a button, then I start to drive Surf boy ripping through the tides What's up, you guys? I know it's been a couple weeks. Yeah, I've been gone. I never said I was gonna do Vlogmas. And as you know, the holiday season is crazy. Not just because I got so much to do as far as errands, but my job requires me work when it's either freezing out or um, snowing out. So you know, if it rains and it's freezing out, you know, water turns into ice, we gotta be out there spreading salt. You guys would know if you see my videos from last winter, what I do for work. So I'm not gonna go through that, but we have to spread salt, we gotta plow and do things like that. And then on top of that, family time is very important. So that's where I've been, but we're gonna come back and go to the regular Thursday scheduled program. You know I gotta start off every video with a lesson. And it's football related. Check this out, right? So I play corn. Today's lesson is gonna be about adversity, right? So as a cornerback, you know, you're playing the receiver, you gotta be his mirror. Sometimes you get beat. Sometimes you make a play. You could make or break a game. The fastest way to the end zone is through the air. And if some receiver catches it through the air, guess whose fault it is? That corner. Yes, blame him. You see him in the area, it has to be his fault, right? Well, sorta of right. If you really want to know why sorta, just leave in the comments, you know, <laughs> and press that like button, and I'll tell you all about it. As a corner, you get different looks, different receivers. Some are slim, some are big. You know, the slimmer guys, you could probably press at the line of scrimmage. The bigger guys will probably bother you and moss you, but there's things around that as well. When you get beat, everybody's blaming you, trust me. When you save the day, you're the hero, not only to the team, but the hometown. I had my fair share of being a hero and the reason why. Oh, I don't think I ever gave up a game, but I definitely gave up a first down and a touchdown a few times. Look, Primetime said it best. The only man that's not getting beat is on the sideline because he don't play. There's literally so many different routes and so many things being thrown at you. Starting with the football. You can get beat for a first down, but you really got to keep your head up because the next play, they're gonna go at you again if they see any sort of weakness. I know a guy who gave up two touchdowns in a game and scored an interception at the end to save the game. That's adversity, you gotta stay in it. You guys do remember Malcolm Butler, or well, maybe you don't, but he's kind of a thing here in New England. Anyways, anyways, let me show you the game room. It's not really a game room because I kind of share the office space. So it's more like a gaming section. Let me show you. Like the video, leave a comment saying you did it. Come on now, talk to me. Okay, so one thing, before I really get into the whole gaming session, I just wanna tell you guys, you're gonna see a drop in views, right? So I was doing this thing where I was getting about 2,000 views a video, that's because I would, um, Put a, I would put a good chunk of money on Google Ads uh, to promote my video and people would watch it. The only thing was I wasn't really getting subscribers and I wasn't getting engagement. So me getting those views, it was like being force fed. Like I was forcing people to watch it because they came up as sponsorships in other people's videos. And I was like, well, these people really don't fuck with me. I want people who fuck with me because they want to fuck with me. So if you're watching this video right now, it's because you fuck with me because I'm not promoting Google Ads anymore. So that's why my views are low. But weirdly, now that my views are lower, I'm actually making more money on YouTube because the views are more authentic and organic. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this little five, 15 views, but if you wanna see me grow, you know, you can share my video. Thank you. So let me show you my game section. It's pretty nice. Don't get jealous. Okay. So in my last video, you have seen already that I got the LG C1, top of the line, especially for gaming, the newest 2021 TV, all right? Let me show you what I didn't show you. And I know I keep saying, let me show you, but I'm actually gonna show you this time. So here we go. So the first thing I want to show you is this little camera I put on top of my TV. It's supposed to uh, 
you know, look at the screen and then it's supposed to imitate on the back every color that it sees on the TV. So if there's a color on the TV, it's gonna show up in the background. So if you ever seen my latest videos with my Halo gameplay, or any gameplay, it could be Madden, whatever the hell is on the TV. I could be watching TV, watching a movie. This thing is gonna record the screen and it's gonna imitate what it sees on the screen on the back of the TV, because that's how these LEDs work. Let me show you. LGC1 sitting on here, but I need you guys to peep this. Look at this. Blam. Look at that. That is the Master Chief holding my agent lock controller. And this is Cortana holding my Gears of War controller. I'll turn the light on so you can see it better. So if we come across this fireplace of the TV stand, it's my Xbox, okay? This is what under the TV stand looks like, at least on one side. Let's go to the other side. It's the Xbox, excuse the wires, but you know, we've got the green light over it. And what is this? It's another Xbox, okay? I got two Xboxes. I got the mini one and the big one. Is the big one really an Xbox? <laughs> Let's see. No, it's a goddamn fridge. I took the racks out because I had a big ass bottle of Gatorade in here, but some brisk in there. <laughs> and that is my fridge. That is my Xbox. I got one more thing to show you guys. I know, I know it's a lot with the LEDs, but I got one more thing to show you. <laughs> Guess what it is? It's another light, but watch this one. Oh, watch what this one did. That's moving. It's nebula, it's supposed to be like the galaxies and out of space. You could change it to different colors and whatnot, but that's what you see when you watch my streams. Cause I got all the lights going. How you guys like it? How you guys like it? Did I force it? Did I force it? Yeah, I kind of did, but I really like it. And this is just the front view of everything. All right, y'all, that is my gaming room, gaming section, whatever it is. It, it's where I play. This is my setup. I hope you guys like it. It's pretty cool. I didn't even turn the fireplace on for you guys because I just turned it off because it really got hot in here. You guys know what the fireplace look like. It shows the fake flames, but it really gets hot in here. Yeah, it's one of those. So, <clears throat> as always, I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, share it if you must, and please subscribe because I got more coming. Do you guys like the gameplay? Do you like when I sit down and talk, or do you like the vlogs? I am going on vacation soon. It's not really a vacation. I'm going to Orlando in January, the second week of January, because I'm going back to nationals. So if you guys know, 2019, I shared with you guys that I went to nationals for winning regionals after I caught the game ceiling interception. Adversity. Um, so <laughs> we're going back to nationals and we are facing the Brooklyn Seminoles, whether we win or lose. I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be vlogging. Now, what I didn't mention is I messed up my knee in the championship game for regionals. It's been about six or seven weeks and my knee is still not healed. I don't know if I'm gonna play in Florida 100%. I'm gonna go to the doctors, get that checked out, and maybe I'll record there 
reaction or what they say about my knee. Um, so you guys know I'm not bullshitting. I'm out here really trying to play out here. So we'll see what they say about it. But my intentions is to go there. I don't want no ring for no reason. I want to contribute, even if it's special teams. I want to contribute, even if I'm on a sideline, helping the next guy keep his mental right. Um, you know? I'm just not going to sit at home in Boston when my team is winning in Florida and just collect a national ring. I'm going to earn it somehow. And if it can't be physical, it'll be verbally. Thank you for watching my video. I know you guys probably don't care for a gaming setup, but you should let me know what you do care about so I can like add that in my uh, repertoire of subjects of videos I'm going to do in the future. By the way, I just went to New York and uh, I really had a good time. You gotta peep that. Mm, I didn't put out a video for New York. Maybe that's coming next. Dad, what's wrong? Had hit me now, I'm sipping on the deuce deuce. I just wanted to get big on YouTube. Mm hmm. I'm still here. Well, while you're here, go ahead and click that like button and the subscribe button. Okay, the notification bell too. Leave a comment saying you did so. Lastly, click the video on the right for more cool content. It's Turp time.